Now in this particular video, we are going to cover another very important topic that is lambda expression. Before continuing with lambda expression, let me explain something about an expression. Suppose I have a scenario like I want to add a couple of numbers like int a is equal to c plus d where c and d are some separate variables having some values inside. Alright, and let's compare this particular statement or expression with the method which is returning an integer called sum and inside this again we are doing the very same scenario like return c plus d. Alright, so let me compare the functionality or the performance I should say between these two. In this first case what is there? C and D would be having their value, they will be summed up and the result will go to A. While here, if I will have to call this sum, so what will happen? First of all, the sum, load, sum method will be loaded in the call stack. Then maybe if there are parameters, the parameters will be copied, the, sum, the summing will be done and then the result will be returned. And after all these things, the call stack will be removing, means this method will be popped out from the call stack. So this loading and unloading will be consuming some time as well. And we can also notice like this particular thing is not that big. You can even do this in a single line rather than calling a method. So the output is the, or the conclusion is that when the functionality is very small, you can easily replace a method with an expression. For, uh, for a better functionality. So here we are going to do the similar thing with lambda expressions as well. As in the previous video we have noticed like we bound an anonymous method directly with a delegate. But if I am not going to do a bigger task I can anytime replace that method anonymous or any particular method with the expression called lambda expression. So let's find it practically how can we do that. For going through the implementation of lambda expressions, I will continue with the previous example as well. Here I have already defined the delegate having this structure and if I want to define a lambda expression for the same, I will first of all replace the definition with the lambda expression. Here on the left hand side of lambda expression there will be a parameter, then a goes to operator and then on the right hand side there will be a definition. So here you can see I have defined my lambda expression and it is returning an integer. Since it is an expression, you don't have to pass the return keyword. As if I'll take an example here, this is an expression where 2 and 4 will get multiplied and the value will be assigned to A. But I don't have to write the return keyword right here, alright? Similarly, I have not written it here and whenever I will invoke this delegate with a particular value, I will get something in return. Let's store that in the variable called result and then I will print it later to get the output. In case you need to pass multiple arguments of different or same type like this, you can also pass multiple parameters right here like this, but make sure you are putting them in the parenthesis. If required, you can also pass the data types along with these members. And here what I'll do, I'll just make a modification to this and obviously I'll have to pass the multiple parameters like this. 4 and 6 both will get multiplied and 24 is the output. Let's say I don't want to return anything and I applied void in my delegate signature. So of course as I said you don't have to write return keyword but ultimately it will return the value. But in such situations what I'll have to do, I'll have to keep the definition in the curly braces and inside this what you can do, you can simply print the value like this. Since your delegate is not returning anything, I'll have to remove this and this. So now I'm done with the implementation. As you can see, it is not giving me any error and I'm not returning any value as well. And in this same structure as well, if you want to pass multiple statements in your lambda expression, you can do that also like this. Alright, so now when I invoke my delegate, I will get the result, program ended, it is about the lambda expression.